So now we are actually going to do an injection practice demo. So the first thing we always want to remember before we do anything with injecting is washing our hands very thoroughly. Sing the ABC song, that's enough time. But do a really thorough wash, you can also wash your arms. It's the single easiest way to prevent any abscesses or infections, okay? If you don't have hand wash and you can have a portable hand sanitizer, it does the same thing. Continuing on with the preparation of our drugs, we've got our sterile cup and our sterile filter, and we've got our 1cc sterile syringe, and we're gonna pull our drugs through the filter. The purpose of this again is to remove any particulates that you would otherwise be injecting in your body and causing infections. So we can see we've pulled up all of our drug into our syringe here and left all the particulates in the filter. So I'll just cap that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the site selection. So I've had a look at my arm and I've realized the last time I injected was up here or maybe it was over here. So I'm gonna move in a methodical way. It's good to move from in a consistent way. So I'm gonna move from the wrist. Maybe I tried there last time, this time, the time before, and now I'm gonna try this area. So we wanna move in a methodical way. So the next thing we're gonna do is either use a tourniquet or use an alcohol swab to clean the site. It doesn't matter what order you do. The longer you leave the tourniquet on, the more your blood vessel is gonna pop up. But for the sake of the demonstration, I'm gonna use the alcohol swab next. I've selected this area. So I'm gonna start in the center and work my way around. We need a fair bit of friction. And again, the reason we're doing this is to make sure that we're not introducing any bacteria into the body. And if you wanna use a couple of alcohol swabs, you can do that. Make this area nice and clean. Next is the tourniquet. So in this uh, demonstration, we've got the tourniquet already on the arm, but of course, when we're doing it to ourselves, we're not gonna have the ability to uh, apply it like this so easy. So I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of using a tourniquet if you're gonna be doing it on yourself. So this is a standardized tourniquet that you're gonna get from the hospital or your harm reduction supplier. You're gonna grab it somewhere near the ends in each of your hands. I'm gonna be going on my left arm over here. So I'm gonna come around behind my arm. I'm gonna have some tension on the tourniquet. I'm gonna bring it back around like I'm tying a shoelace. And I'm gonna simply push one finger through. So if we look up close to that, you can see that the blood vessels are gonna to start to bulge out. And I've got very easy access when I wanna take the tourniquet off. I can simply pull that and it releases the tourniquet. And I'm typically, typically gonna do that after I do my injection. So you've got the tourniquet on the arm. We can see the blood vessels have come up nicely. They're nice and purple. This is the area we wanted to select, okay? So the next step is to get our syringe. When we're going to be doing an injection, we want to inject at a nice angle so we're not gonna go right through the blood vessel. In this case, I'm gonna say 15 degrees up to 30 degrees. That depends on how deep the blood vessel is. This one seems fairly close to the surface, so I'm gonna go at it quite shallow. I'm gonna make sure that the bevel of the needle, that's the very tip, is facing upwards. And that does the least amount of trauma to the actual tissue in the blood vessel and increases your chances of not traumatizing the area. So we're gonna go into the blood vessel in the direction of the blood vessel and very nice and smoothly I'm going to inject at about a 15 degree angle. Once I'm in the blood vessel I'm going to aspirate or pull back on the syringe just a little bit to make sure I'm in the blood vessel and we can see that we've gotten some blood into the syringe that means we're in the blood vessel so now we're ready to inject. You want to inject very slowly I've assumed we've already done a test dose so we know that the dose we're doing this time is safe And once the dose is in, I can release the tourniquet. I can pull out the syringe. And very quickly, I'm gonna get a dry swab that comes in our Steri kit. I'm gonna apply that to the injection site. I'm gonna hold some pressure on that for up to a minute or more. And what that's gonna do is make sure that the blood vessel has a chance to heal, allows the, um, the platelets to go to that site and clog up that hole we've just put in your blood vessel. And that way we don't do any damage to the blood vessel.